Hey there. So <clears throat> what I'm up to today is splicing a piece of rope uh, onto an anchor chain. Um, some neighbors of ours down the way got a new anchor chain and they need uh, rope spliced onto it. So I'm going to do that for them and I'll show you guys how to do it as I go. So very simple. First thing I do is um, tape the ends of the rope just so it's easier to pass through when we're braiding. Uh, so I've done two already. Can we see? All I'm doing is just making it tight and it just makes it easier to pass it through is all. And you got three strands on this Three line. strands of rope on this. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I'm going to do is determine the length of the braid. Uh, so you want a good probably six or eight inches uh, of braid on there. So I'm going to open this slightly more, probably eight or nine inches, just because uh, when you start braiding, it shortens the length of it, right? So. I think I'm gonna need, and it's better to have it longer because when you're tired of braiding or when your braid is long enough, you can just cut the ends off. So, I'm gonna go right there. So the next part is to pass the three through the chain. Okay. Once you have it through, and you pass it over, and now we start. So this <clears throat> this line here is the marker line. It has the green and red tracer in it. So I'm gonna start it on itself. So this rope is gonna go underneath the exact same rope, and that way, it makes it easier as you're going just to keep matching this one so you never really get lost okay so the rule is over one under one so now i'm going to go over that one that i just went under and the next one is going to go under that one okay so now that's two of them and the next one we'll go under one second here. Turn it up. It goes under itself. Right here. Now the key is to keep it pulled tight at the beginning stages because once it gets loose, it gets sloppy. So I have it nice and tight. And now I'm gonna go back to the beginning. So the beginning rope was the one with the tracer. And now we're gonna go under over one and then under one. Like so, and then the next run, you just keep going over one, under, under. one. This one here, it's a little bit sloppy, so you just wind it tight again, over one, under one. So we're gonna go under this one right here. So that's all three strands again. So again, we're gonna pull all of them nice and tight. Okay, and then back to the beginning. So we start it with this Your original tracer one. Tracer. Over one, under one. Yep. Nice and tight. And we grab the next one. Next rope. And it goes over one, under one.
Okay, so now we've done all three. Let's get them all nice and snug in there. And you just keep going right to the very ends of them? Well, you keep going until your length is good. Mm -hmm. So it might look a little bit rough right now, but once I'm done and I roll it all into place is the next step. It'll look nice and neat. almost finished so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it uh, and so what I do is I put it actually on the dock and I roll my foot back and forth over it and that lays all the rope into place uh, and settles it in marries it together together better and then we can trim the ends this is slightly longer than normal but uh, if uh, the people I'm doing this for want it shorter, it's easier to undo it. If they want it, wanted it longer, that's not something we can fix. So um, I always leave them long. And like I said, if the, the client or the person I'm doing this for wants me to shorten it, I can always shorten it. But this is a, a good length. Uh, the nice thing about splicing a rope is it maintains a pretty close to 100% of the rope strength. Uh, when you tie a knot, you automatically go down to about 50% of rope strength. So maybe you can follow me outside. Uh, we'll finish this off and we'll trim the ends and we'll show you the finished product. We're outside now in the beautiful North Coast rainy day. Uh, so like I said, just to finish it off, if you look at the thing, we'll just kind of carry it together and you'll see what I'm done. It'll look a lot tidier. than when I started. You can already see it's a nice rounded pattern. Let's see. Oh, that looks good so far. Okay. So we'll just keep doing that. Okay. 
So here's the finished product. Much nicer, wow. rounded, it's all, uh, it finds its own kinks. Like uh, when you took it apart, you could see the kinks as you unwound it. So what happens in the end when you roll it like that is it puts the kinks up the braid and uh, it, it kind of, like I said, it just marries it together. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim the ends with just a little bit to spare. And a little bit of heat. This rope's wet, so it might take a little bit. <clears throat> okay, once the ends are melted, we'll just give it another quick roll. the finished product. Let's see it. A nice spliced line. Looks good. <laughs> 